Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about solution of first order ordinary differential equation using fourth order Runge Kutta method. How to solve a problem by fourth order Runge Kutta method? Let's see a question. Find the value of y of 0.1 and y of 0.2 using RK method of fourth order with step size equal to 0.1. The function has been given to us xy plus y square. So let me write it as y dash will be equal to xy plus y square and y of 0 equal to 1. So here step number 1 or iteration number 1 will be we have to find it out value of y of point 0.1. What will be y of point 0.1? Now what is initial value? y of 0 equal to 1. So here I can say that when x0 will be equal to 0, y0 will be equal to 1. So when x1 equal to point 0.1, what will be the value of y1 that we have to determine. Now already it has been given in a numerical take h equal to point 0.1, otherwise you can find it out value of h will be equal to x1 minus x0 which comes out to be 0.1 that is same. Now we have to write formula y1 will be equal to y0 plus 1 by 6 into bracket k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4. So first we will determine values of k1, k2, k3, k4. Then we will substitute it and we will find it out answer for y1. So what is k1? k1 will be equal to h into f of x0, y0. What is h? It is 0 0.1. Now your function is x, y plus y square. So what is f of x0, y0? It will be x, y plus y square. Means it will be x equal to x0 and y equal to y0. So equal to 0.1. Now what is the value of x0? value of x0 will be equal to 0 so I will write it here 0 into y0 is 1 plus 1 square so if you calculate you will get answer for k1 will be equal to 0 0.1 now next formula for k2 will be equal to h into f of x0 plus h by 2 y0 plus k1 by 2 so let us write all the values h is 0.1 then f of x0 is 0 plus h by 2 0.1 divided by 2 what is the value of y0 y0 was 1 so 1 plus 0.1 divided by 2 that is we can write it as 0.1 into f of what is the value of 0.1 divided by 2 it will be 0 0.05 and 0.1 divided by 2 is 0 0.05 plus 1 so it will be equal to 1.05 so this is your value of x this is your value of y so let me write a given function 0.1 into x into y plus y square here put x equal to this value put y equal to this value so 0.1 into bracket x is 0 0.05 y is 1.05 plus 1.05 square so let's do a calculation 1.05 square plus 0 0.05 into 1.05 into 0 0.1 so you will get answer of k2 as 0 0.1155 so this will be answer of k2. Let me find it out answer of k3. What is the formula of k3? h into f of x0 plus h by 2 y0 plus k2 by 2. So what is h here? h is 0.1 f of x0 is 0 h was 0.1 y0 is 1 k2 is 0.1155 divided by 2. So you will get it as 
point one into f of this will be zero point zero five, and the next value will be what? It will be one point zero five seven seven five. So this is value of x. This is value of y. Now what is your function? Point one into x into y plus y square. So put here x will be equal to what? Zero point zero five. Y is one point zero five seven seven five plus one point zero five seven seven five bracket square. So what you will get? You will get answer as this. Do it on a calculator. You will be able to get answer as zero point one one seven one. So let me write a three will be equal to zero point one one seven one. Now similarly we have to find it out. Answer for k4 formula is h into f of x0 plus h and y0 plus k3, which is equal to 0.1 into f of x0 is 0, h is 0.1. What is the value of y0? It is 1. K3 will be 0.1171. So what you will get? 0.1 f of This will be a zero point one. This will be one point one one seven one. So this is your answer of x or value of x. This is value of y. So k four will be equal to what point one into bracket x y plus y square. This is your given function. So point one into point one into one point one one seven one plus one point one one seven one square. So you do it. 1.1171 square plus 0.1 into 1.1171 into 0.1. So you will get answer of K4 will be equal to 0.13597. So this is the answer of K4. So now you just substitute y1 will be equal to y0. What is the formula? Y zero plus one by six into bracket K one plus two K two plus two K three plus K four. You substitute here value of Y zero K one K two K three K four whatever we have calculated. So we will get answer for Y one which is equal to what Y of point one because it was expected to find out answer for what. It was expected to find out answer for uh, point one. So what you will get here by substituting, you will get answer as one point one one six eight. So this will be your iteration number one, that is value of y of point one. In a step number two, now what we have to find it out? We have to find it out what is the value of y of zero point two. So already we discussed that whatever answer we will get at the end of step one. Or a iteration one, we have to use it as an initial approximation for a step two or iteration two. So, what will be your initial approximation? Y of point one equal to one point one one six eight. That is, when x zero equal to point one, y zero equal to one point one one six eight. So, when x one equal to point two, what is the value of y one? That we have to determine. So if you solve the numerical by using same steps that we have implemented in the step one, we will get answers of k1, k2, k3, k4. So here I am going to write answers directly. You can use a similar steps whatever we have used in the step number one. And please cross check the answer. K1 will be 0.13589. K2 will be 0.15813, K3 will be 0.16094, K4 will be 0.1881. And if you substitute all these values in a given formula of y1, then you will get answer of y1 or y of 0.2 equal to 1.2773. So this is what is a numerical of Fourth order Rangi Kutta method.
I think you people have understood how to solve a problem of fourth order RK method and how to uh, give uh, get the answer of ordinary differential equation. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask. Thank you once again.